Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Adam Bant twitted. The top 20% of income earners get 50% of the benefits from Labor's Stage 3.1 tax cuts, while the bottom 40% get just 9% of the money. How is this going to help those living through the worst of this renting, inequality, and cost-of-living crisis? Tom the Whistleblower How's your membership of the Chairman's Lounge for you and your wife going? The complimentary flight upgrades? The near 300k salary? Don't try and champion the poor when you benefit from the system without complaint. Andrew Farrell and what was the breakdown for the top 20% bottom 40% under the LNP's original stage 3? Should we just go back to that? All or nothing is rarely the answer. Lisa Jane It would be very unwise to oppose these cuts because you will be punished by the electorate. You are sounding more liberal every day. Joe Sorry Adam your vote has been made irrelevant by none other than Pauline, as she said, on Sky that she would be voting for the tax changes, not because she agreed entirely with them, but to stop the Greens grandstanding A pushing for more changes. Imagine being snookered by Hansen. Will Jones The top 20% of workers pay 68% of income tax, but will only be getting 50% of the S3.1 tax cuts. So, S3.1 is deeply unfair to the top 20% of workers who are carrying basically the entire tax base, and the Greens are trying to make it even more unfair to them. Jose Origliano. Here's an idea. Instead of spending all your time trying to beat Labour at the next election, why not spend half your time trying to beat the Liberals? Common Sense. Someone on 150k will have their tax reduced by 0.83%, while some on 45k will have theirs reduced by 1.97%. If you factor inflation into the equation, the 150k earner gets nothing, while the latter still gets reduced tax. It's simple maths, mate. Try using it. The Big Uzzy. When it comes down to it, you, Pocock, and Lambie are all Albo's lapdogs. So why bother making statements about what you want? Albo doesn't care about you. You will ultimately roll over regardless of what you want. Australians know you aren't strong enough for politics. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australian politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.